Super Business Adventure! Get Sumen no Anubis! Anubis of the moon's surface! Once upon a time on the moon base Alpha, there was an Anubis. Also, three days until the Earth crashes into the moon. The Anubis was 18 years of age today and could finally have sex and drink. But he really wanted to go to war, in which the legal age was 35. Eyeball! That was the story of this game. Oh god. This is gonna be one of those story adventure things. But he found that his dad had been murdered in cold blood because it's on the moon, there's no heat there. Get it? I will avenge you, dad, he said to himself. I don't care if I'm allowed to kill yet, I'm going to do it to the person who killed you. But then he discovered something shocking. What did he discover? Um, it scared him and he screamed? It was the logo again, apparently. Okay, well, I can, I can live with that. I pressed start. Choose your ridiculously huge door! Well, door number three usually has prizes, but I'm gonna go with door number one. My name is not a guy stabbed in the eye house. That's not gonna work at all. See what we got here. N. Religious N. In fact, that's somebody bowing down to a cross. Uh. Guy doing yoga. Pretzel metamorphizing into a worm. Guy about to throw a ball at some other guy's face. That's my name! I think that was my name. This is not whatever this is. Maybe it's my last name? Fine. Sad face. Uh, screaming guy. Telephone pole lounging by the pool. Guy running away. Act one. The cockpit. He discovered he was in a cockpit the whole time on the moon. His dad was killed and he had to find out who. It's been, he's, he's finally 38 and can kill. He's been researching who killed his dad this long. He is ready to re exact his revenge, if only he could find out who did it. It's been this long and I still haven't got a single clue. It's as if I hadn't been playing a game yet. Or been the character in a game, rather. I'm not, I wasn't the main character. But now I feel as if I suddenly am, and we can resolve this issue. Or plot. Uncover the mysteries within... 
But first, I have to learn how to fly my plane. It's a space plane. It's for use on the moon. Blah, 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 blah! Too much! Change the screen, at least. It all started when I was seven. My dad and I would go out to the moon park and swing on the moon swings. Okay. And I loved him, you know? He was the best dad ever. Oh, here we go. Apparently, I am made out of, like, really old marshmallows. I am the really old marshmallow moon man. Oh god, he's playing Top Gun. Good luck. Good luck with the landing sequence. He's he is also simultaneously playing that poker Tetris game on the top screen. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, I get it. I'm about to fly this plane all up in your bitch. So then he landed at the Wolf Pack, apparently. The Wolf Pack Lounge. This is where the hung hangover took place, isn't it? And then a guy materialized and dematerialized in front of his face. The mysteries are growing! Dad, is that you? He said. Yes, I am your dad, ghost from the grave. I'm going to teach you some things about learning how I died. Why don't you just tell me how you died, Dad, he said, and he's like, that, that's stupid. You're not going to have any fun doing that. But then I could exact my revenge. Yeah, but it wouldn't be very interesting. It doesn't have to be interesting. Dad! Why is this music so happy and repetitive? And then he discovered the microwave of the future. I'm going to microwave my coffee, he said. And then he was 40 years old, because that's how long the microwave of the future takes to microwave coffee. More ghosts were talking to ghost receptionist about their ghost privileges. We haven't got our ghost security cards yet, they said. Let's go to the back and we will resolve this. Meanwhile, there was a ladder in the hallway. It led up to the next floor of the space station. On this floor was a ghost monkey in his ghost room. Are we in Deus Ex Human Revolution here, man? What is with the orange view? Everything is amber. We're on an amber alert. This monkey has stolen the children. A children, yes. He looks ready for action. Look at him, man. He's not even dressed. This monkey is not dressed for the occasion. That is definitely a computer of the future. Look how small it is. This Starbucks sucks, man. I made a joke there with Starbucks and I didn't even notice it until just now. Ha ha ha. We're gonna have to pay some Starbucks for that coffee we microwaved. Jesus. Everybody's a ghost! Whoa! I've got a choice, finally! Oh, it's about damn time. And mouse cursor, would you fuck off? Jesus. You've been in the corner like, Hi! Hi! Hello! This whole time- Oh no! I chose something! Did I- I did not save state. We're going with whatever I chose then. So, um, 
don't even know what that choice was, to be honest. I didn't make up anything at the time. Oh, here we go. What was that choice about? Number one, was it about going back down to Starbucks to get another microwave coffee? Or are we deciding to barge into this door here and see what the fuck's going on just in case it happens to hold the killer of my dad? Let's do that one. It's more interesting. Ah, fuck! Did I have him backwards? You decide that that was a bad idea after all and just go back down for another microwave Starbucks coffee. That wasn't much of a choice if they both led to the same thing. So, you wait another two years for your Starbucks coffee, go back up to the door, revitalized with your caffeine content, and decide to try and open the door after all. So, I guess there was a choice. We would just stay down there and look for some hot, hot star babes if we hadn't done this. Inside the door, you find darkness. The pungent scent of mildew emanates from the wet star base walls. So you go back out to the ladder, it's your favorite spot. The ladder is a happening joint. Oh look, a ghost has joined you. It is the ghost of, um, some lady from CSI Miami. You loved that show, but it's 300 years out of date. That's why she's dead. You decide to sit down with your ghost buddies and play some ghost poker. I was a little preemptive on the text there. And they are like, let's play some high stakes poker. We'll get Gladys to, uh, to deal the cards and she'll piss you off by saying, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Every single time you make a mistake, not even giving you the chance to, you know, be suspenseful about whether you're going to win or lose. No, you just know you're going to lose. You've wasted your fucking time. Might as well fold. That's a terrible idea, and you decide not to play ghost poker, so you go talk to this ghost guy. The ghost guy's like, you want to go ghost bowling? Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, do you go ghost bowling? Do you, uh... Say, I want to go bowling, but not ghost bowling. I can't hold the ghost balls. Or do you say, let's just go back down to Starbucks. Uh, I'd rather play regular bowling. But I'm a ghost, I can't re hold the regular balls. How are we gonna do this? Have you ever thought that maybe ghosts and humans aren't meant to coexist peacefully? That's silly talk, look at us. We're fine. So you go on a ghost walk. Talking to your ghost friends. And it suddenly makes you wonder, why are you the only one made out of old, uh, old mar marshmallows? Forgot the word there for a second. Everyone else is a ghost, but you're a marshmallow man. A marshmallow moon man. Are you the only local resident of this place? Is everybody else just visiting in their ghost paradise? So this here is Martha and Bill. They're married, but they're kind of fighting, so they sat at separate tables. But they're just kind of yelling back and forth to each other about their problems, and it's kind of making everybody else upset because they're so loud. So you go over there and you're like, listen, Martha, Bill, I know you're having problems, but seriously, just fucking keep it to yourself or sit at the table together or fucking anything. Get a room. Maybe you need to go to a ghost marriage counselor. But it's not, this is not the place for that. You're, you're upsetting all of the customers. I don't like it. You're upsetting me too, okay? Just fucking... Come on. They look at you like you're crazy. Say, you have no right coming into our relationship. And then they leave. The ghost poker's tournament is over. Looks like GLaDOS just, uh, just kind of called the Ghostbusters to come take care of the place. There's a guy at a counter ready to sell you some ghost beer. You say, oh fuck, Martha and Bill are back. Look, I told you guys, stop. Thought you left. Why are you back here again? Just, we don't, you're not welcome. I was trying to tell you very nicely you needed to leave or shut up, and you didn't do either. In fact, you pretended to leave and thought I wouldn't notice when you were screaming at each other again. Come on, guys. 
Just go to ghost sleep already or something. You need... It's like you got a ghost migraine. Gotta get some ghost prescription drugs. Had enough of you, Martha and Bill, okay? But stop talking to me, I want to leave. Oh, look, said Bill. You've upset Martha. Now she'll never talk to me again. Good. And then he leaves too, before I can go into a rant. Ghost Poker Tournament number two. Oh, fuck, who's that in the, on the right? Is he our new uh, mascot for the Ghost Poker Tournament? I would like to explain the rules of this Ghost Poker Tournament. We will be playing Texas Hold'em. The, the buy-in is $20,000. Yeah, it's just that guy. Everybody's like, fuck, $20,000? I don't got that much. I'm saving up for Ghost College. Meanwhile, on the holodeck, or, well, no, it's just the DS4. It's very large, as you see. It's got a multi-touch touchscreen, but you still have to use styluses, so when two people play, they just hold a stylus in each hand and kind of stab the screen. Today, we see uh, two ghost astronauts playing Ghost Mario. It's not Luigi's Mansion, it's Ghost Mario. You ask if you can play too, but they say, fuck you, and you go back to your room. It's been a long day of ghost conversations. You decide to go to sleep on your ghost stone tablet. That bed looks so uncomfortable. And now it's day three, apparently. What, are we sleeping through day three? You wake up with a ghost staring over. You're like, dude, what the hell, man? You can't just walk in my room while I'm sleeping. And he's like, technically I can, I'm a ghost. Just walked right through the wall. Don't even need a bag holding for this. No ghost perk tournaments today. It is Sunday. Shouldn't you be at church? Worshipping your ghost gods? What are you buying? Says the guy who sells drinks. He doesn't care if it's Saturday or Sunday. He's going to sell drinks anyway. You decide to have a drink. And you get... Oh, fuck. Is that Martha again? You know that's Bill's spot. Looks like Martha needs this drink more than I do. Did you guys get divorced that quickly? She says she never loved him anyway. She's been dating ghost, uh... Ghost Billy Mays this whole time. She asks if you think that's a good idea, Ghost Billy Mays. Think they'll work out? Yeah, man, you and Billy Mays were made for each other. No, I think you should get back together with Bill. Billy Mays! Fuck, I was tired of you guys arguing all the time anyway. I will pursue my dreams with Billy Mays here at the Ghost Space Station. Could they really not afford to, like, just draw some real ass sprites? What's with all the ghosts? Jeez. So you go to your favorite Starbucks sitting spot, and there's nobody there as usual. That's why it's your favorite. Ah, oh, hell, fuck! Ghosts just pop up out of nowhere and steal your seat. Look at that shit. I think they were waiting for you. What are you gonna do about this shit? You can't just have them steal your seat like that. Even if they are ghosts. Well, that's a good question. What are we gonna do about it, you think to yourself? If we punch at them, we'll just go right through. It'll probably make us stumble and hurt ourselves, so... And then 
you see three ghost astronauts in the distance doing a ghost dance. They chose a weird song to do a ghost dance to. It's kind of ominous. Hey, that's my name! Somebody's calling my name! They're all like, sad face yelling guy pull... or fuck. Sad face yelling guy telephone pull relaxing by the... the fuck. I can't say my own name. Sad face yelling guy telephone pull relaxing by the pool running away guy. There we go. That'll that'll do. You're like, yeah? Oh, that was not worth that much effort. You get invited over to your spot where the ghost sat down. They're like, dude, we were just fucking with you. We wanted to see what your reaction would be, and you were a wimp. Yeah, man. You need to get grow some ghost balls. But I'm not a ghost. I'm an all a marshmallow man. Doesn't matter. You can grow ghost balls anyway. And then they walk off. What's with the creepy music? Did they walk off, or are the Ghostbusters here again? Somebody's talking to me, and I don't know who it is because I can't see anyone. Then I turn around and... The ghost dancers are gone! What's going on? Where are all the ghosts? What's going on? We have a new mystery. We've forgotten all about our dad from the beginning. We're just looking for ghosts now. It's more important. Ghosts are our only friends in this place. We have to save them from whatever monstrosity has caused this music to appear. Blah, 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 blah. So we run down a random corridor to see if we can find any ghosts. We found one. It's... I don't know who this is. I wanted to say Ghost Mr. Clean, but he has a mustache. We're like, who are you, Mr. Clean's uncle? And he's like, fuck you, man. Just wanted a mustache. Everybody knows me as the ball guy. Well, I'm sorry for upsetting Mr. Clean and his mustache that he grew, but I've only got 10 seconds to find a ghost that is in trouble or is gonna die because I just got a call. This guy's like... Man, I don't even know what this guy's like. He's just making a bunch of no noises. That was a nice distraction, I guess. But hey, the music has stopped. We're too late. We didn't save the ghost. Whoever gave me that anonymous tip... Yeah, it was too late. Everybody's running away from me. Is it because I'm a marshmallow moon man? Day four passes without even going to bed. Here we are in the, um... Say the, I don't know what this room's for, man. The superfluous room. We're in the superfluous room. There's a guy doing some superfluous stuff. That Roomba's really annoying, man. And two other guys are like, yeah, yeah, we kind of hate it too. Chases us around the place, making noises. There it goes again. I got chased in here by the Roomba. You too? Yeah, man, we all were. Fuck that Roomba. Jesus Christ! So many Roomba attacks! We gotta do something about this. Suddenly you don't care about the ghost that disappeared, you have to destroy the Roomba. That three keeps popping up, and I don't know why. I'm tired of the screen. I got nothing. They're just having a conversation. They're gossiping like little old ladies. Oh, fuck a choice! Do you want to gossip with the guys like little old ladies? Do you two attack the Roomba? Or try to find it and attack it? Or do you three go to Starbucks? Let's just go back to Starbucks, man. 
You invite everybody in the superfluous room to go, oh god, that's not Starbucks. What have they done to Starbucks? Starbucks has closed and become a gap. Starbucks fell into the gap, you could say. Where Starbucks once was, now there is just fashion. You don't care about fashion, you want your coffee. How are you going to survive without your coffee? The world is a terrible place. Oh god, you're already starting to lose consciousness. You need caffeine now. It was all a dream. Everything that's happened up until the last time you saw the screen was a dream. You are a total loser. But at least you're at Starbucks again. Now you can get one of your coffees. Oh. No. Well. It looks like we have lost. Perhaps I really did die. And in an alternate universe, I was like, man, I'm glad that I'm still at Starbucks. Too bad about that other guy. Whatever. I'm gonna consider this done. I'm not gonna try finding a way through this game that is not going to end in an end. This has been yet another Jap story theater. It's been a while. This one was all about the Amber Alerts, I guess. 